Rome's under Rome's leadership. In 1986, Pope John Paul II gathered in Assisi, Italy, the leaders of the world's major religions to pray for peace. There were snake worshippers, fire worshippers, spiritists, animists, Buddhists, Muslims, Hindus, North American witch doctors. I watched in astonishment as they walked to the microphone to pray. The Pope said they were all praying to the same God and that their prayers were creating a spiritual energy that was bringing about a new climate for peace. John Paul II allowed his good friend the Dalai Lama to put the Buddha on the altar in St. Peter's Church in Assisi and with his monks to have a Buddhist worship ceremony there while Shintoists chanted and rang their bells outside. The prophesied world religion is in the process of being formed before our eyes and the Vatican is the headquarters of the world. If all men and women, whatever the differences between them, cling to the truth with respect for the unique dignity of every human being, a new world order, a civilization of love can be achieved. May God guide us and bless us as we strive to walk together hand in hand and build together a world of peace. Liberal organizations, including the United Nations, are pursuing the development of a one-world religious organization. Today, on the United Nations 55th anniversary, CBN News reporter Wendy Griffith takes a look at what's behind this push for a global religious voice. After a while, the drums, chants, and prayers representing many of the world's leading religions all started to sound alike somehow losing their flavor in a melting pot of spiritual soup. The first ever Millennium World Peace Summit of religious and spiritual leaders took place at the United Nations in August. And some believe it marked the first major step toward a movement to usher in a global spiritual body that may one day speak for all religions. Robert McGinnis with the Family Research Council says it appears the hidden agenda is to unite people under one religious organization so they will peacefully accept UN goals such as population control, abortion rights, and one world government. Instead of all these different gods, maybe there's one God who manifests himself and reveals himself in different ways to different people. You know, what about that, huh? CNN founder and billionaire Ted Turner was the honorary chair of the World Religion Summit. Turner, known for his critical views on biblical Christianity, promoted the New Age concept that there are many ways to heaven. The thing that disturbed me is that uh, my religious Christian sect uh, was very intolerant, not intolerant of religious freedom for other people, but uh, we thought we were the, they thought that we were the only ones going to heaven. While supporters of a global religious voice have come down hard on evangelical Christians who refuse to adopt their New Age agenda.